It's the open phone line with our agony aunt, Deirdre Saunders, uh, this morning. And on this most special of days, the first anniversary of uh, Denise Robertson's death. Um, I just want to say, I mean, Denise and I were really good friends. You know, we did a lot of campaigning work together. So I really miss her. And it's an amazing honour to be following in her footsteps. I try. You, <laughs> you don't need to try because you do it well, so well. Try. And I'm sure she would be thrilled it, it's you, Deirdre. And, and That's very you know, kind. That, it's lovely that you, that you were friends. And then yeah, now here you are. Exactly. Um, so let's get straight on and do what you do best and uh, talk to Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello, Sarah. What would you like to talk to Denise about? I mean, Deirdre, look, I'm... I've done it now. Deirdre, sorry. Hi, I'm concerned about my mum, who is 80. She had a stroke about 16 months ago, which gave her double vision. She's having a cataract operation next week. And she is getting very forgetful and making a few, a lot more errors than normal. And we'll continue to drive. And myself and family are very concerned about this. We've tried to approach the subject, but it's falling on deaf ears. And then she's very, very angry mm. because we're trying to take yeah. away her independence. Oh, we've well, had we, we, so we, many we, people We were discussing this at Sarah. the start of the programme. Mm. And he, here it is. Here's where the truth hurts. Mm. It really is difficult. And you have got to be really firm with your mum. I think all get together as a family. But first of all, talk to your doctor. You know, doctors are supposed to, you know, really deal with this subject with their patients. But all too often, they duck out of it as well. Talk to her doctor. There is no way, for example, she can drive after a cataract operation. Absolutely no way. And maybe that will be like the interval, if you like, that you can really work on persuading her that she can't really go back to driving again. So talk to her doctor, but then get the whole family together so it isn't just one of you sort of getting the brunt of her anger. And really explain, I mean, the sort of thing we had on the show today. She would feel so awful if she had a terrible accident. She could be hurt. She could really hurt somebody else. But really get in place beforehand all the thoughts about how else is she going to get around? Because it's terrifying, you know, her sort of age to suddenly think, well, I'm never going to get out of the house. So, you know, really agree between you how you'll give her lifts. Check often a lot of areas. There is a dial-up service where they'll come and get you if you can't drive yourself. So that she knows your life doesn't end but, at so that So what point. are you suggesting to Sarah? She, do you saying to Sarah, you tell her? I think you have to be, you have yeah. to be firm, Sarah. You know this is not about pleading. Let her be angry, and I think accept her feelings. That's the thing. You know, I think when people get angry with us because they're upset, we tend to sort of batten down the hatches. I think, like you and said, you need to actually say, "I really understand this is upsetting." Yeah, putting mom. things in place, I think, is a great idea. Um, yeah. you know, so maybe I mean you can have an awful lot of taxis. What it costs you to to run and insure a car for the year. Absolutely. So you maybe maybe you could find a local taxi firm and set up an account for her, so it's very easy. So I think if you put, give them a solution and say, look, what you you're think, not going to be stuck in the house. Well, Mem is on a bus route as well, and obviously she has a bus pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's... And she, you know, she's quite mobile, so she, there's a lot of ways we could get around this issue, like yeah. you say, yeah. Well, good luck. I think, dear, you just have to be firm, and it's really hard. I, I just need to move on, Sarah. Good luck with that. Um, this Thank is you very much. Thank you, Sarah. Problems with Bye. communicating with family. Uh,